Um, thanks, obviously, for joining us again for the second time. And obviously, we do really, really appreciate this time. You know, we're busy. Um, how are you? How things? I was, I was training. You feeling good? Uh, yeah, you know, it's, I was, you know, feeling, feeling very, very good, man. I was feeling good. Just an uh, issue I've got to just deal with now. I didn't know of, but, you know, I fought for it. I won't really be bringing it up so it takes away from the victory of towards my opponent. But other than that, um, yeah, yeah, I, um, I can't wait to get back in there. I felt going into it, I felt the best I was, the best ever. I mean, you. I gotta say, you looked, you did look, you know, in in incredible shape, John. I gotta be honest. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people did say that, and that's that's what. Um, you know, when you're putting in that hard work for countless of months, that's you know that that that's what it was, man. But um, uh, like I said, you know, just back to the drawing board and and um, heal up, recover, and and from then it's just back in the mix, man. Um, I'm always up for it. I'm not scared to fight no one, and um, I just I can't wait to get it uh, get it going again. When you obviously do mention there a bit of a niggle, when did you find out about this um, sort of niggle that you had? Is it obviously it must have happened previous to the fight? Now that we'll delve into it too much. Yeah, it, you know it was uh, a bit previous, but um, you know as a professional, that's for you to stay on top of things, isn't it? Which I should have done. Uh, you know, um, and now I've had MRI scans. That's something I should have, I should have done. You know what I mean? And a lot of people adapt. Uh, you, you see it like as Danny Williams, you know, an arm goes, he just, look at you done, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, um, that's it, it's professionals and you just, that's for me, um, you know, um, I, I take it on myself and that's something I, 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 I could stay stay on top of and um, make sure if you, any fighter going into a fight, you just make sure you're on top of everything and that's that's what it is. Yeah, mate. Um, not that we'll delve into the into the fight too much, but, but did, did the did the previous fight teach you much? Have you learned anything from from the experience from the fight itself? Would you say, John? Oh, I learned a lot, man. I learned a lot of the. Uh, is this? I, I can say this was the most confident I did feel going into there. I wasn't as nervous um, as much, and it was just I'm feeling um, like I'm adapting um, to the bigger stage. Um, I know that you know while everyone was having their amateur fights and experience i was you know i was incarcerated and <laughs> so it's like yeah. now it's like it sounds weird i know it's professional but it's like i'm having all these fights i'm learning now i'm in the deep end just learning yeah, learning, yeah. learning as much as i can and um i think my my biggest or one of my biggest struggles or trans was the transition from the sparring into the fight which is slowly starting to come out that's why each fight's always a touch different because um the hype about me was what people always saw for me inspiring. Um, what I would do, um, it's, it's, it's even what it's evil is. It was even why people took me on. They used to see what I would do, and you know my ferociousness, and um, and yeah. So it's just, just transferring that, and um, I think you know I, I feel fully that it's it's coming out. It's getting it's more and more, and it's it's coming out. But I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, John, I can't imagine Dillian White wanting to manage just any boxer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly that, man. So, um, yeah, that, that's it. Just, just staying focused. Um, the support's been even today, man. As I was walking down, you know, people just telling me like, man, they inspired. Keep going, please. Don't ever stop, please. You know what I mean? The people pleading with me to keep going. Like that's that's uh, such a deep thing. You know, I, I wouldn't. I've considered myself to be actually fighting for the people that just wish and, and hope, you know what I mean? So um, I'll, I'll be back, man. I'll be back, man. I'm, 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 I'm still happy. I'm still smiling. I'm still the loud character that I am. Um, so um, I, I just I just can't wait, man. Are you, are you still in love with the sport? I mean, a lot of boxers after a loss, you know, they, they struggle to... You know, to keep to keep motivated, to keep you know being in love with boxing itself. Are you still very much in the mindset that you know you do you still love your boxing? I'm still loving it, man. I was you know was, I've been in the gym just um, training with <laughs> what I can only train with. You know what I mean? Um, and and in and the first thing um, I was at my um, gym, said, the first thing the guy said to me said, for you to still be able to train in that condition. 
um, just throwing a shot with one arm, like um, you must be in love with that, you know, this sport. You must be in love with boxing. And I said, yeah, I just badly want to be a champion, you know, and 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 that's just it. It's just, um, you know, you're always gonna have your little down moments, but you know, when you come back and um, I was never one to hide my face from the public and just to see the amount of people that uh, were just so touched and so like, yo, you, you know, you done, you know, commending me for always taking challenges was just, uh, man, it just touched my heart so well, so, so much, man. Wicked, mate. I mean, when you look at, you know, the likes of Derek Azora, I mean, he's, he's got 10 losses on his record now, but I mean, because of his perseverance and patience, I mean, look, I mean, he's in the mix now of, of massive fights. I mean, that's got to that's gonna reverberate with you as well, surely, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it does, you know. You know, funny enough, that's I know you're a proper boxing uh, analyst. That's the first, that's what someone exactly said to him and spoke about his career. And he says, you know, he just said to me, you're learning on the job. You're learning on the job. You haven't been in the amateur experience you're trying to gain back. And and that's what it is. Uh, I've always wanted to, uh, my name to be when John Harden Jr. is in the boxing ring. It's, it's a fight. It's entertainment. Uh, when John Harden Jr. is and the camera's on him, there's nothing but entertainment. There's nothing, you know what I mean? And that's, that's. Um, I think through this this lead up to the fight, I was the first time with just being me, you know what I mean? Not not being nervous, just, just I was just, I had to be open. You, you ever see me in the gym around others, I'm, I'm always loud, I'm always dancing, I'm always laughing, joking, that was just me. So um, um, it, it just felt beautiful to just, just to be, just to be me, man. Oh, we can in. Do you think, John, that, you, that your resilience to these bumps in the road, do you think it stems back, you know, to, to your time growing up in the estate, to all the to all the bumps in the road in your life that you've had before and the fact that you've got this, you know, inbuilt mental toughness? Do you think that's why maybe you're, so, you're staying so focused and, you know, you're quite a resilient person? Yeah, you know, it's cause just, to, just to come out from New Cross uh, Woodpecker State, you have to be resilient. Yeah, you know I mean, just just to come out, you you tested it every day just to come out. And the other day, I had to uh, I was doing a small little film, and I was going past there, and I saw people I ain't seen for for years. That's only from when I was small, and they were just like, "Wow, like, I can't believe you!" And you know, I remember you rapping on the stairs, or they remember me smoking ounces of weed. That I used to, I was always I was a heavy weed smoker. Um, you know, they'll say, oh, so-and-so's turned into, you know, uh, takes drugs now, he's a, you know, a crackhead or whatever. Um, so-and-so is this, and then I'm walking past, you know, I'm walking past, uh, you know, spots where I can remember, oh, yeah, I remember when that person was dead or that person was laying there, with, you know, a bullet in, in, in him. And to, even now, it humbles myself just to yeah. get out of that facility, just to get out of that is um is just is already the challenge itself so it's like it's like being in dealt a um a, a bad hand and um and to get this far now and to take another uh suffer another another blow but at the same time i've i've dealt with harder blows in the past um, behind the camera so yeah. it's just like you know what i'm just um it's, it's just it's, I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to go again. Well, not physically ready, but as soon as um, things are all, all, all ready, I'm 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 mentally ready to go again. Def, definitely, mate. I mean, when you look like you you know you just sort of touched on over there, you know when when you look to where you are now, you know it must you must be quite proud of yourself. You know, seeing where you are both in the boxing world and where you are you know in your in your in your life at the moment, is it? you know, you must feel some sort of element of achievement in the fact that of what you've done just generally as well as boxing on top as well. It's, it's more or less, you know, is um, you know, I stay humble, I stay like, you know, me. Sometimes I'm not I'm still adjusting to maybe uh, uh you know having my face known, uh, someone walking down the street, uh, noticing me, stopping me, talking to me, you know, and talking to me as if they they know me, you know, like you're seeing for me, it just feels weird to see someone I've never seen and they're talking to me and they never think about me. And you know what I mean? And, and or someone will have a young kid, 
with them and they put me on the phone and he wants to ask a couple of questions and I'm giving him advice and I get humble and I think you me, you know, like me, the 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 one who wasted his years away in prison, the weed smoker, you know, that came out of a state that people didn't think, you know what I mean? And all it is I just didn't give up and didn't listen. You know, you guys wanna to talk to me, you wanna have a picture with me. So um I still stay humbled and um and 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 and, 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 and everything. I mean, I suppose it, it is a good thing in a way, John, that, you know, you did lead that life. You did lead the life, you know, like you said, you smoke and you've been to prison because the people that were in that position can look at what you've done. You know, you're a real person. They can see you. You've actually done, you actually did what they did and you've managed to get out. So really, I mean, do you feel there's sort of an element of responsibility for you to, you know, inspire the next generation to show them, I mean, look, you know, you can achieve if you focus and if you really go for it? You know what, yeah, yeah, obviously the main thing is I want a bloody belt, yeah, <laughs> that's the main <laughs> thing, you know, I think that was on my mind, I was like, oh, I'm tired of being inspiration and I just want to be a champion in the belt, then I look at it and, um, you know, there's there's still people that are locked away that that, that look at me and feel inspired, I've had, had one person that um, was a motivational speaker, but he's a boxer as well, Yeah. and he went into a prison and he had to play football, with them and a lot of them do long term and he said the one person all they were talking about and asked was about me and I was like wow he said yeah me and I'm thinking damn I know I was with a lot of them because I was in Belmarsh and there was a lot of life is there before they moved on to other to continue their sentence but it was touching yeah. to know that my you know my progress has hit people doing incarcerated and and you know that's how sometimes I have to humble myself in terms yeah. of sometimes I just think I just want a belt, I just want a title, I want it, and um, I have to always look at that. Right? You know, this journey um, is touching a lot of people. Definitely, mate. I mean, speaking of titles, obviously um, on Twitter recently you posted, you know, 2021. You know, you're looking, you're looking to, you know, get a title in that year. I mean, is there anything in mind specifically? You've, you know, you're looking at a specific title or a specific person, or is it just pretty much you're just going to grab an opportunity if it comes? Uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm an opportunist. I, I've, I've always been, you know, is there I grab opportunity, man? You know what I mean? Um, like through the summer, I was going to be on a fight camp for one. It didn't happen. I had to keep staying on. In September, they kept pushing back the dates. Then we got to October. So it's like, um. I just, just want a title. Um, an international one would be sweet, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, um, whatever door needs to get knocked down to get to there, um, I'm willing to get there, whether it's um, super waterweight or middleweight, because, you know, you can see I can do the board. I'm kind of borderline with it. So, um, yeah, that's it. Just to try and narrow down, say, I want that title. I just, yeah, yeah. yeah and it, it was just like, you know what? I'm putting it out there, 2021, I'm coming, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not going to stop and um, I'm going to prove to people what happens when you don't give up. Definitely. I mean, the super wealth as you got, I mean, so many great British fighters, haven't you? Obviously, you've got Sam Egger then, you know, you've mm, got Cheese yeah. then, you've got Anti Fowler, I don't know if Scott Fitzgerald's coming back soon. I mean, it'd be great to get in the mix of all those guys as well, wouldn't it, for you? Yeah, de definitely, man. Uh, see someone like Sam Eggington, that would be a nice... A nice war, you know what I mean, a lot, a lot of experience, but I would love to test myself against someone like that as well. Um, I think it will be entertainment to the fans, and that's what I wanted to uh, bring is just entertainment, man. That, that you know, I'll be remembered at any time he steps in there. You know, you, you want to watch, you want to watch everything, you want to watch behind the scenes and the fight. Yeah, man. What, what was it like in, in, the bu in the bubble, John? Was it something you enjoyed? You know, was it a bit of a weird experience being around sort of somebody who would be fighting in the next few days? Or, you know, like I said, or was it something you enjoyed? I, I, I loved it, man. I loved every moment of it. I can't lie. I enjoyed it. And I remember going back to my hotel and, like, you know, Rima said, you know what? I love this and I, I want more of this. You know what I mean? It was a different experience because, you, you know, you're, you're, you're around... I've never been around the person I'm gonna fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, crossing paths or whatever, and having to do your interviews and weigh-ins, and and it it was something different, you know what I mean? Um, but um, I loved it. 
I, I loved every ounce of it. And it was just like, look, this is what just, just stepping up the challenges. You know, a lot of these guys have more amateur fights than me and, you know, experience. But I'm just, I'm not scared. I'm, I'm just, there's no fear, and and that's what I'm, I'm, I'm bringing. I'll, I'll always go for it. No, oh, good mate. I mean, obviously, Dillian might, you know, your manager is, is the fight's being pushed back, obviously, till January. Do you think there's any, any scope, um, John, for you to possibly on the undercard of that fight, or has nothing been sort of said yet? Uh, you know what? I've got to sort out my condition before I can even. Um, I don't know the in depths. Um, of it, and uh, the, the more I've researched into it, more has uh, been more of a deep in depth. So, um, yeah, that's that's my only situation at the moment. I, I can't. Uh, I'm 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 thinking earliest is springtime, really. Really. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really earliest could be could be springtime. Um, I'm hoping not summer, but um, I've just got to just you know I'm um, just. Just rest up, heal up. Um, if I have to train and just do my feet, do one hand, whatever, I'll, I'll still do it. You know, you can't keep me at the gym forever. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, obviously, speaking of Dillian, before we go, um, fight the Bavec, you know, in January. Do you think, do you think Dillian's gonna avenge his loss? Do you think he's gonna, you know, do you think he's gonna stop Bavec in this time? I, f- I feel he's gonna um, bounce back. You know, um, he's gonna exercise. A, you know, a beautiful. Show his beautiful boxing IQ. Uh, I think he's got uh, um, one thing I really um, admire about him is his IQ. Um, that I've seen him show a lot in the gym, and I feel that on the fight night he's going to show that and um, have a clinical finish. I think he's going to, and he's another example how to bounce back. That's exactly that's, that's the man. That's the man right there. Anyone that's watching and they think they've gone through a, a situation in life and they can't get back, I think they. Um, yeah, they can, they can watch him. Definitely. I mean, even, you know, obviously the loss of Joshua was a big one for him to take. Then obviously he had the big, the, the massive post fight thing with Rivas was a big thing he had to take on. Then obviously, you know, this Pavekin thing. So, you know, even even the likes of Dillian might, loads of bumps in the road in boxes. Isn't it? And I think that's what, I think people forget very quickly, John, don't they? All these bumps in the road that you boxes have to go through. Yeah, yeah, it is bounces, you know, it's the one thing, time's a healer. So it's like, People can bounce back, like, you know, it's like Chisora took that, you know, I see how people would on to him and I'm thinking, you know what, it's boxing, he, he can bounce back. He done against Takam exactly. before that, you know what I mean? And that's, it's just boxing. And boxing is just like life, man. It's as time is a healer, as time goes on, people bounce back. If you're prepared to bounce back. Mm. Um, John, thanks obviously so much for your time today. We know you're busy. Obviously, you're gonna pop up to see the physio. So, um, I really, really appreciate your time, and um, I really, really hope 2021 is a is a good year for you, and you can get back in that ring. Hopefully, like we said, springtime. I'll, I'll be back. You will be back, <laughs> and I'll have the belt across my chest. Like, wow, I remember this? You know what I mean? You're one of the guys who will be loved. I'll be, you know what I mean? You'll be the one of the first people to get interviewed from me. Oh, you know, thank you so much for your support, man. No worries, Sean. Well, have a good, have a good one, John. Thanks again for your time, and we'll, we'll right, speak to you when you got that belt, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, God bless <laughs> you, bro. Take care. Right.